Welcome back. From canceled flights to overbooked ones, traveling at times can be a nightmare. And soon, finding a flight could get a whole lot worse for you if the airlines don't have enough pilots in the cockpit. News 3's Brittany Paris tells us about the staggering shortage of pilots all new at 10. The part of the military that I really loved was flying. Army helicopter pilot Chris Cornelius may be retired, but he can't stay out of the sky. Since 1986, he's been stationed around the world. Mountain flying in a helicopter is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. He retired last month after 31 years, but the flight controls were calling, and now he's embarking on a new career as a commercial pilot. And as I, I was thinking about making that transition of what I want to do and be, this is giving me the opportunity to continue doing what I love. It's a story that's becoming a familiar one in the military. <laughs> Highly skilled and trained pilots are leaving for commercial jobs, causing a catastrophic shortage in the armed forces. They have about 1,500 pilots short, and of those 1,500, about 1,300 are the fighter pilot category. So. That's a pretty significant number throughout the total Air Force. The Air Force says that number is about 8% of their pilots. It is a crisis that needs to be addressed pretty quickly and significantly in order to keep these uh, trained pilots. But how to address it is the question. 115th Operations Group Commander Colonel John Kelberer says the military spends 7 to $10 million a pilot on training. And if we let these people leave out of the force, then it's just money that we're flushing away. To keep them, the Air Force is offering retention bonuses. For some fighter pilots, that could be up to $455,000 over 13 years. But in some cases, that's still not enough. The military will never be able to fully compete with compensation with the commercial airlines. That's because the commercial airlines are facing the same shortage, and they're offering more. Aside from compensation, they can give pilots a better schedule, something Cornelius says is important for many service members. Between 2005 and 2012, he was stationed in Iraq and Afghanistan. So we were doing really a year-on, year-off cycle. That's a hard schedule. That schedule is what crushed people. I mean, it just it ended a lot of people's careers. They just couldn't take that pace anymore. Just needed to take a step away from it. Getting those pilots in the cockpit is key for the airline business, especially in Dane County. Nearly 100 planes take off and land daily, and over the past five years, 10 additional flights have been added. So while the airport isn't worried about the pilot shortage just yet, Boeing predicts over the next two decades, airlines across the world will need about 640,000 new pilots, 112,000 of them in North America. In order for them to not cut back on flights you might take, U.S. airlines need to hire 5,600 pilots each year, or 15 pilots every day for the next 20 years. FAPA.Aero, a career and financial advisory service for pilots that tracks hiring at the airlines, shows between these seven airlines, just 2,600 pilots were hired this year. If they can't get a qualified military pilot, and there's not enough civilian pilots who meet the minimum qualifications, they either stop growing or they reduce the qualifications required to be a commercial airline pilot. And it's already a concern. In August, Horizon Air, a regional arm of Alaska Airlines, was forced to cancel more than 300 flights, 6% of its schedule, because it doesn't have the pilots. As for the Air National Guard in Madison, they're offering a compromise, allowing pilots to take to the sky in a fighter jet and on a cross-country flight. Madison's a great place to live, and it's even a better place to fly F-16s. So we really don't see that right now. But we do anticipate that we could feel some of the effects. Cornelius is in a specialized program for retired pilots to become commercial pilots, and he's looking forward to his next adventure in the sky. In Dane County, I'm Brittany Paris, WISC News 3. The military is also trying to retain pilots by giving them more consistent schedules and allowing them to fly more. The Air National Guard says if Madison is selected as one of the two bases to receive the new F-35, it would secure their future for the next 20 years. Cornelius will be ready to pilot a commercial plane by February.